get that stuff out later. Wow, I just walked out here. And damn, I don't know if you can hear that wind through the phone, through my camera. Woo, don't worry. The comb is right over here. We got her. I'm going to uh, do a little install video on this. It's a pretty weak thing, but first we're gonna start this up. Say the automatic start on this. One, two, three. I'm still getting used to it. But there we go. She's ripping up. Now, while that runs, that's not what this video is about. A lot of you have been asking me questions. I made a joke about trading the Z06 in. No, I did not trade it in. She's right here. I figured I'd make a little walk around on this thing as far as my plans, what I want to do with it, what we've done with it so far. And I guess we can start there. Uh, this is for those of you who are new to the channel from the Tacoma content. God, I love how this thing looks. Seriously more aggressive than a lot of exotics out there. A lot of cars I've owned in the past. You have things like the Gallardo, the F430, the 360 Modena. Uh, those cars actually roughly around the same price. The amount of look you get for what the car is, I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here because there's just so many other Z06s out right now, but what we have done to the outside is this is a second set of wheels that came with the car. Those are the stage one splitters, or uh, side skirts, I'm sorry. The front splitter, this is from EOS, Extreme Online Store. Really awesome, haven't had an issue with it. As you can see, it's still holding up. Things still looking good. Everything else is stock. Stock, 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 stock. The car was wrapped for a while got a reflective Instagram logo there. I love how that is in the uh, reflection. That does look cool that way. Uh, the wing, this is frame mounted, not just on the hatch. It's not even on the hatch, as you can see. It's mounted to the frame. I can maybe list some pictures here. Sorry, I have some. Or how it's bolted on there. Big fan of that. The side markers and all that stuff, that's all stock. All this is stock, stock C6 stuff. The wheels came from the purchase of the vehicle when I bought this, I got it in 2017, 2018, it's a 2017 leftover that I got at a screaming deal. MSR, MSRP on this plus tax, well MSRP is 94, but with tax and everything, we're looking at like about roughly 100, 103 I think total after the fees and stuff they wanted. I got them down to, and that's with their dock fee and all that other crazy stuff. Never pay a dock fee, never pay a markup because you can always find another car at a better price. The more you consent to that, the more we all get screwed, but uh, I think that is warmed up for quite enough. I think I'm just gonna shut that thing off to quiet this down here. The, uh, <laughs> the wind is actually crazy, so crazy right now. Where was I? The vehicle was 71 plus tax, so I paid 76 out the door. I actually just punched this into Carvana and they offered me 77, which is insane. I'm not giving this up. I like this. I love this car. It needs to be washed right now. A little dusty. It is what it is. But yeah, I really like it. We got tint from Dynamic Tint. This is the Xpel XR Prime. And you can see the interior. We're gonna do a cold star for you. First, 3LZ, fully loaded. Everything but the carbon ceramic brakes in the Z07 package. Uh, we've got everything everything in here the suede the suede roof obviously it's the target top it's a coupe they only make that they don't make a fixed roof coupe the sacred manual big fan of this really the main reason why i got this car over some other things that have dcts and whatnot i was looking at 570 s's they're in the price range and uh comfortably you know and a storage pocket there I really just wanted this over, you know, a V10, a Gallardo, maybe a 458. They're a little 
bit double this in the zero one range and i don't think a zero one is worth what i you know double what i paid for only 100 more horsepower and some rose gold trim i wish this stuff was blacked out to begin with anyway but i got the competition seats or i'm sorry these aren't competition seats these are the gt bucket seats because i'm daily driving the car i don't really want the competition seats i wanted the heated seats i wanted the cushions these are way more comfortable than the competition seats they're not even real buckets to be honest the new c8 has real buckets which probably go for the buckets on that all that trunk space back there oh but yeah the suede inserts that's a big deal to me this is jet gray too not a common color jet gray is uh not a common color at all at all it's kind of got a bit of a blue to it <coughs> i'll pull the key out my voice just cracked the key out give her a cold start see what this sounds like uh, I'm gonna be gone for the weekend. My knee always hits that. If you're uh, not relatively a small guy, you're, you're gonna hit stuff in there. But close this. I wanted to give you guys a video of this thing and update you on it. I really have been loving it way more than I thought I would, honestly. And. just sounds good i'm not even into muscle cars like that you know what i mean like i don't like i'm more of an exotic kind of guy i like exotics i like the way they sound i like the way they handle and drive i like everything about them some some uh some guy handed us those the other day we went to the christmas village in smithville me and my girl I'll get that stuff out later. But yeah, that's it. I mean, I, I just wanted to give you a walk around of this thing. Give you an update. Still loving it. Still don't have the badges on the front after we unwrapped it. I honestly think it looks a lot better without the badges on it, to be completely honest. But how can you not like how this looks? And it's with that classic white with black accents. This is Arctic white. I really love how it looks. Really need to take this and get it washed. Have I been driving this daily along with the 987? Yeah, I have. I've been driving this. I rotated with that. That I used to take to eh, pretty much my commute during the week. Uh, and also anywhere if I'm gonna get dirty, I'm driving that, over driving that. But they're both just as awesome, so. <laughs> I, I don't know I I just like having the variants and I think they look so good together I want to get them side by side not in this garage I want to get them side by side somewhere else I'm gonna shut this thing off because we're not taking this we're taking the TRD Pro uh, you got a little engine start stop right there track mode cluster as it disappears two cup holders don't really worked super well but i've never had a, anything spill some chick drop makeup or something like that over there one time like powdery shit we're able to get it out didn't make a single uh stain or whatever really love this interior it's nicer than the huracan interior i mean i would still get a huracan to put next to this in the trd pro just because it's much different it's a dct it's a reliable supercar it's a reliable exotic it's a reliable lamborghini uh, the Aventador, obviously it's up there, but I just don't think it's a livable thing. I think that's a that's a car you rent every now and then. I don't really want it from a financially keen aspect. You got to remember, I'm a finance guy, so I uh, always want to have the up and up on that edge of things. Obviously, it doesn't have door handles, but you can see when you put your hand in here, it's just a little sensor. You don't even have to apply much pressure to it. But yeah, this video is running on kind of long, so I don't want to make it super, super long, but I wanted to give you guys an update on the Z06. A lot of people thought I sold it. A lot of people thought I was serious when I said that, but no, we have it. 
and uh, yeah, here she is in all of her glory. I've been lucky enough to not have any issues with this so far. Uh, windshield wiper seized up, so I had to get the wiper, not the wiper, but the uh, nozzle seized up. The cool thing about these is the nozzle actually sprays from the wiper as it goes up. And uh, I can't really see it from that position, but it does. It's pretty cool. And what else do I need? Oh, you know what? My steering wheel. There's a little piece on my steering wheel right there that's kind of poking out. I think this might be something where if I make enough noise... I might get a new steering wheel out of it, which as you all know, suede has a short life because of the oils on your skin if you don't clean this off. It's doing pretty good so far. 15,000 miles, but yeah, the car's holding up really well, really durable. And for what I do to it, I mean, I don't abuse it, but trust me, I, I fucking drive it. So that's all guys. I just wanted to give you an update on there and, uh, Clear the confusion because, you know, I'm not only going to be making videos on this. Going to be making videos with the Z06 and with the Porsches and stuff like that. We've got some stuff coming for you about the Black 987. Really interesting things. But man, I mean, if you're, into, if you're here for that or you're here for the Porsches, how can you not like this? This thing's just sweet really is cool and it's windy as fuck and now we're going to get into the install on this which isn't really an install but just sort of a review and unboxing so with that said i'm filming on my phone you can see me see my face thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more of these videos if you're not already subscribed that's just for your benefit i don't care what you do yeah